हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग वॉम मिक्स एसफॉल्ट और डब्ल्यू एम ए एंड इट इज़ कवर्ड इन आई आर सी स्पेशल पब्लिकेशन वन जीरो वन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वॉम मिक्स टेक्नोलॉजी हैज बीन इन यूज इन मैनी कंट्रीज एंड ए नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शंस हैव बीन लेड इन द रिसेंट पास्ट इन इंडिया ऑल्सो दिस टेक्नोलॉजी हैज सम इनहरेंट एडवांटेजेस एज कंपेयर टू कन्वेंशनल हॉट मिक्स एसफॉल्ट and as you know bitumen mix is a composite material which is commonly used to surface roads parking lots and airports and it consists of mineral aggregates which are bound with bitumen now based on mixing and compaction temperature these technologies are hot mix asphalt technology warm mix asphalt technology half warm mix asphalt and cold mix now today we will be discussing this warm mix asphalt technology and if you see the categorization of these technologies based on the production temperature cold mix is produced at ambient temperature whereas half warm mix is produced at a temperature which is less than 100 degree centigrade that is boiling point of water warm mix asphalt is generally produced at 100 to 140 degree centigrade and this temperature is not less than 30 degree centigrade less than hot mix asphalt hot mix asphalt is produced at a temperature which is higher than 140 degree centigrade the basic principle of this technology is that by adding certain additives in the mix the coating of the aggregates by the binder is greatly enhanced and can be achieved at a considerably less temperature typically 30 degree less as compared to the hot mix process in hot mix process it is the viscosity of the bitumen alone which is less at higher temperature and that plays the main role in coating of aggregates whereas in warm mix technology this can be achieved this means the coating of aggregates can be achieved in three different ways either by increasing the volume of bitumen or by making the bitumen less viscous or by reducing the surface tension at aggregate and bitumen surface and accordingly there are four categories of warm mix additives which are commercially available one is organic additives the additives which have melting point less than the normal production temperature of hot mix asphalt and these can be added to reduce the viscosity of the asphalt the example of these additives are sesobit asphaltan or licomont there are many more additives available in the market the second category is the chemical additives now these are the additives which reduce the internal friction between binder and aggregate particles during mixing and compaction but they do not rely on the principles of forming or viscosity reduction the examples are evotherm or redset or maybe sika base also the third category is of water bearing additives now these additives contain synthetic geolites which are composed of alumina silicates and alkali metals the synthetic geolites have crystalline water which is released at temperature more than 100 degree centigrade and it creates the foam in the binder now this foam will increase the volume of the binder and it will reduce the viscosity example of these additives are asphamine or advira the fourth category is water based process the water based process utilizes water only to generate bubbles when contacting the hot binder and double barrel green or wam foam are the examples of water based process because wma is produced at lower temperature it has many advantages and the first advantage is that it creates lower emissions as compared to hma wma produces lower emissions because of reduced temperature and these are the results of four countries norway italy netherlands and france where reduction in emissions in the form of co2 so2 or volatile organic compound co and nox and dust were measured and they found that there is reduction in 
emissions when WMA is produced as compared to HMA. And if you look at the numerical values, then CO2 reduces almost 15 to 40 percent, SO2 18 to 35 percent, NOx 18 to 70 percent, VOC 19 to 50 percent, CO 10 to 30 percent and dust 25 to 55 percent. It's a great reduction. And second, because of temperature reduction, WMA yields less fumes as compared to HMA. The third is the workability. By achieving the same viscosity at lower temperature, the workability may improve, leading the better compaction. And workability of a mix has been typically quantified using the torque generated while stirring a mix. More is the torque, lesser will be the workability in the mix. And this is a study conducted in 2014 by Ayman Ali and others and they have compared the torque required at different temperatures in HMA and WMA. And you can clearly see here the torque required in HMA is much larger than torque, torque required in WMA. So it is more workable than HMA at same temperature. Binder aging because WMA is produced at lower temperature and therefore the binder aging is less. In case of hot mix, the mixing temperature is very high and volatile compounds present in the bitumen are lost and that is called binder aging. The fifth advantage is less energy requirement and it has been observed that the fuel consumption in WMA is almost 55% less as compared to HMA. Proximity to site due to less emissions and fumes, WMA plants can be located in or near urban area. And seventh point is exposure of workers to emissions. Now this is a competitive chart between WMA and HMA where exposure of workers to emissions working at two plants, HMA plant and WMA plant are indicated. You can see the advantage. And last is extended paving season. In addition to these, there are several other benefits of WMA over cold mix also. WMA does not require curing time as against cold mix and it also does not require a sealing layer as for some of the cold asphalt mixture application. But at the same time, we must be aware that there are two, three disadvantages of WMA. The first, some studies have reported the problem of moisture susceptibility in WMA. Because of lower mixing and compaction temperature, sometimes aggregates do not dry completely and that creates the problem of moisture damage. The point number two is that still it is not clear that at lower temperature the satisfactory density can be achieved. And third, the forming WMA technologies need modification in HMA plant and it results in high installation or modification cost. But in spite of all these three disadvantages, WMA has many advantages and particularly it is environment friendly also. The design of mix for WMA, the important consideration is that the performance of WMA shall be the same as specified for hot mix asphalt except for mixing and laying temperature and mixing and laying temperature should be at least 30 degrees centigrade less than those specified for HMA. The following WMA specific tests are also performed. Number one, the coating, number two, compactability and number three, moisture sensitivity test. I'll briefly explain this test. This coating test is given in ASTO T195 or ASTM D2489. Now it's a very simple test. It's a physical test that after producing WMA mix by lowering the temperature by at least 30 degrees centigrade, lower than conventional hot mix, samples of the mix are taken and that these samples are taken immediately after discharge from the pug mill. Now coating is only measured on aggregates 
which are retained on 9.5 mm sieve. Take a sample of roughly 200 to 500 gram of sieve sample and then observe each particle whether it is fully coated or not. Then percent coating is determined by this equation number of particles fully coated divided by total number of particles multiplied by 100 and this coating should be at least 95 percent. This is what IRC suggests that at least 95 percent of coarse aggregate particles shall be fully coated at temperature at least 30 degrees centigrade lower than conventional HMA. We do not call a mix WMA if its temperature production temperature is not less than 30 degrees centigrade as compared to hot mix asphalt. The compactibility test is given in ASTO T245 or ASTM D1559 and this code give a detailed procedure of preparing a cylindrical specimen of the mixture of 100 mm diameter using a standard Marshall hammer. It is a normal Marshall sample and these samples are checked for Marshall stability and flow value as per standard procedure that is at a constant displacement rate using a Marshall apparatus after being immersed in water at 60 degrees centigrade for 30 to 40 minutes. And this is what we do in a normal Marshall stability test. And then what IRC code suggests that WMA mixes should have at least 9 kN Marshall stability if the sample is prepared with a normal bitumen, unmodified bitumen or 12 kN if sample is prepared with PMB and flow value should be 3 to 6 mm. That is the test for compatibility. Compatibility can also be determined by comparing the wires in the sample of the mix prepared for HMA and WMA for the same job mix formula. So you determine tear wires in two mixes, one conventional HMA mixes, mix and another WMA. The only difference is that WMA will be produced at 30 degree centigrade less temperature and, HM, and the job mix formula for HMA and WMA will be the same then ratio of air wires will be air wires of WMA divided by air wires of HMA and this ratio should be 0 0.9 to 1.1. Practically you can say that there should not be any difference between air wires in WMA and air wires in HMA. The third test is the moisture sensitivity test because it has been pointed out by some researchers that because this mix is produced at lower temperature, the moisture sensitivity may be a problem. And this test is given in ASTO T283 or ASTM D1075 and these specifications give a detailed procedure of finding tensile strength ratio of Marshall specimen. Now here 6 specimen are prepared at 6 to 8 percent air wires, ideally should be 7 percent and three samples are selected as a control specimen and tested without moisture conditioning. Remaining three specimens are conditioned by saturating with water undergoing a freeze cycle at minus 18 degree centigrade for at least 16 hours and subsequently having 60 degree water soaking cycle for 24 hours. And then the specimens are then transferred to a 25 degree centigrade water bath for 2 hours and then tested for indirect tensile strength test. So one set of sample is tested without conditioning and other set of 3 specimen are conditioned by this procedure and then the, their indirect tensile strength is estimated. Then tensile strength ratio is average ITS of conditioned sample divided by average ITS of unconditioned samples. So, TSR should be at least 80 percent that is it should not be less than 80 percent for the warm mix that is prepared at least 30 degree centigrade below corresponding hot mix asphalt and that will ensure sufficient resistance against moisture susceptibility. So friends thank you very much for watching this video you can give your feedback by writing in the comment box.